God bless you and greetings to you in the wonderful name of our living Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, and God our Heavenly Father. I received this message on 2-17-2015, um, and it goes as follows. <clears throat> Sound the alarm. Warn my people. Life as you know it is about to change. The governments of the world are going rogue. Instead of caring for the people, they are plotting their destruction. Is anyone listening? Is anyone paying attention? In America, I am sending great storms of magnitude. In other parts of the world, I am sending great earthquakes, volcanic eruptions. Is anyone awake? Your global government continues to grow steadily in power. Soon, all will be under their grip. Does anyone care? Don't you see, my atoms? Don't you see? Their plans for you are based in evil. And the governments conspire with the evil ones, Satan, and his fallen ones. <clears throat> their plans for you, atoms, is death in the physical realm and eternal suffering in the spiritual realm. They want to steal away as many of my atoms as they can and change your DNA and what makes you of the race of Adam into an entirely different race which is no longer the race I created but a different race, a soulless race a race of beings no longer accepted by me, no longer eligible for salvation by way of Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach. He wants to change you from a race of Adam, which can be redeemed and saved by the blood of the Lamb, into a different race of beings, which are no longer eligible for salvation. Satan and his fallen ones with the full cooperation of the governments of the world, want to deceive and trick my atoms into becoming something they were never intended to be. Just as recorded in my scriptures, the beings mentioned in Genesis 6 and elsewhere, the offspring of fallen angels and human women, these beings were never intended to be brought into existence. Because of the fallen one's rebellion and defiance to me, I cursed their children and gave them a death sentence to be carried out in the near future. They want company. In order to try and get at me the Most High, they are trying to get at me by way of my intended children. Don't fall for their evil scheme. Don't fall into their trap. Don't take the mark of the beast. It will eventually alter your DNA and change you from the race of Adam, your intended heritage, to a race of something else. Already, people in America and in other parts of the world are beginning to receive chip implants into their bodies. Stop. Don't do it. Your future dwelling place is at stake. The chips <clears throat> to the uninformed seem harmless, but they are not. They are in their final quote-unquote testing stage, needed uh, to change over into the real high-powered chip technology, which some refer to as the mark of the beast. Don't willingly accept chip, chip implants of any kind into your bodies. I consider it sin leading to an unforgivable sin which cannot be undone. Your body was intended to be a holy temple when you joined together with the other believers in Christ. Don't profane it. Don't pollute it by way of chip implants. My wonderful bride, get the message out. Let the people know your bridegroom is coming back for his bride and your king is coming back to judge the wicked and to set up them. 
repent, repent, repent. Change your lives from lives of sin to lives of holiness. I love you, my people. I love you. I don't want to lose any of my atoms to the enemy. Choose life. Choose Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, for your salvation and deliverance from the evil ones of this world. Know, my children, that you are beginning to enter in to the time of sorrows. Time is about up. I guess is what I missed that word, sorry. Time is about up. Enter into the ark of safety. Allow me to rescue you from the enemy. The time for salvation is now. Confess Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, as your Lord and Savior, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and get born again, born from above, before the time of sorrows sets in. When the time of sorrows sets in, then everything changes. So if you are not saved via Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, then become saved and join the family of God and break free from being owned by Satan. Get born again, born from above, and make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior before it is too late. I love all of my creation. I love all of my atoms. Come unto me, Adam. Come unto me. Your Heavenly Father awaits you with open arms and a heart filled with love and compassion for you. Come home, my sons and daughters. Come home unto me, and we shall spend eternity rejoicing together again at last. I am sending Jesus, Yeshua, back for you, back soon for my faithful bride. Will he find you among the faithful? Amen. Okay. <clears throat> that was the message I received this morning on 2-17-2015 uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory uh, there's more and more press about the mark uh, the chip implants people receiving them uh, people receiving chip implants to work with their smartphones people receiving chip implants to lock and unlock doors to turn lights on to turn the thermostat on and the enemy is selling it as harmless and convenient. But the Lord is saying, don't do it. Stop. And it is not going to be harmless and convenient. Read in the book of Revelation about uh, what happens to the people that receive the mark. It's awful. It actually changes their DNA. It changes them from being of the race of Adam into something else. Uh, and they are no longer eligible for salvation. And since they're legally owned by Satan at birth, then where he goes, they go. And his uh, eternity is Hades, hell, and then the lake of fire. And that's where all of his property, quote unquote, all of his people, all of the fallen ones who rebelled against God, go. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, it's not a place anyone should be. It's available for free to change lords to make Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus of Nazareth, Lord in your life. Change from darkness unto light. Confess him as your Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. And the word of God says you'll be saved. You can't do it, you know, some people want to play games with God. They want to wait to the last minute. They want to see if these things happen or not. They want to play some sort of, <clears throat> I don't know, chess match to see if, you know, they can hold out until the last minute and then make Jesus Christ Lord on their deathbed. <coughs> Pardon me. Not a wise strategy. Not a wise strategy at all. 
<clears throat> Confess him as Lord now, make him Lord now, um, and assure your seed in heaven forever. <clears throat> and avoid this terrible future as forecast by God to Satan as fallen ones and the children of disobedience as mentioned in the scriptures. So um, I don't know where you are in America. If you are in America, uh, winter here is pretty tough. I, I seem to be in some sort of a sweet spot as far as snow is concerned. We haven't gotten much, uh, thank God. And today is February 17th, so the snow season certainly isn't over. Um, but I know brothers and sisters on the East Coast and south of us and west of us have been just hammered by this weather and I pray for you guys all the time I know how difficult it is and I pray for those that <clears throat> don't have a place to stay you know the homeless or uh, the near homeless they don't have money to turn their power on their lights on to go get food etc I'm in continual prayer for you guys and and also overseas that our brothers and sisters that are being slaughtered by the enemy I pray for you all the time um, it's just like Jesus he Yeshua said in the Gospels they're gonna persecute you they're gonna lead you up uh, you know and there's gonna be people killed martyr for his name and I love my brothers and sisters overseas who I've never met who pay the ultimate price they've stood faithful unto death and they're going to receive a martyr's crown and reward for that. Um, <clears throat> I have the utmost respect for people that have not only been willing to, but have paid the ultimate sacrifice in their faith. Here in America, um, we haven't had too much go on. You know, occasional shootings here and there staged by the government, false flags. They get some Manchurian candidates to go out and murder the innocent. But uh, compared to overseas, um, especially Christian targeted or Jews for extinction, it hasn't happened so much here yet. But it's on the way. So there's, we never know how many days we have on this earth. You know, my last day could be today. I don't know. Something could happen tonight and be the end of me. And you don't know how many days you have on the earth. You know, tonight could be your last night, God forbid. Not that I'm predicting anyone's demise, but it's just something that in America, especially, I don't know so much overseas, but in America, too many people take this life for granted. They think that it's always going to be this way. And God assures us it is not going to always remain this way. One day soon, the catastrophe is going to hit. The days of darkness are going to hit. Everything's going to change. The time to get ready is now. The time to get right with God and Jesus Christ is now. Don't wait. Because this, this uh, time of sorrows he talks about is rapidly on the way. And we're going to shift gears from birth pangs to time of sorrows. <clears throat> which some people equate to the Great Tribulation. Um, or at least tribulation. Uh, it, it's going to be a very, very unpleasant time for people. And to think that you've got the luxuries to, you know, go to your heated home and watch your big screen TV and eat some popcorn or do some buffalo wings while you're watching the game and say, well, you know, I'll make that decision for Christ later. Right now, I got to watch the game. Right now, I got to watch TV. Right now, I got to. You know, go to the movies or whatever. Um, you just, it's just going to happen. It's going to happen suddenly. And uh, violence is coming to the lands of the earth, all lands, including America. And things are going to change, and they're going to change soon. The alarms are being sent out by the messengers and the prophets. And um, we still have the scoffers that don't believe it. They just think it's. Oh, you're just making that up. You're paranoid. You're a conspiracy nut. You're a, 
a kook or a weirdo or whatever, you know, phrase you want to use, some of them very impolite. Well, for now they're entitled to their opinion. They can say and do pretty much what they want, as long as in America and other countries have a freedom of speech. But there's a time coming when you're not going to have that anymore. And what the Christians and the messengers are warned about is going to be here. It's going to be happening. And if the rapture occurs and the bride is taken out, <clears throat> removed to a place of safety, then you're going to have to have a whole new set of circumstances. And I don't want to make this too long, but let me just say this. Um, the Spirit of God in the believers, especially in the bride, is a restraining force against evil in the world. When that restraining force is removed, then the restraints against evil go with it. Then you're going to have to deal with evil unrestrained, at least to the degree it is now. So there'll be a lot more of a lot of bad things all happening at the same time. And that's one reason the Antichrist rises to power is because people want peace and safety. They want it to be like it is now. They want to feel safe. They want to feel protected. Uh, and he's going to promise them everything and deliver nothing but hell on earth. So, um, the time to make your decision for Jesus Christ is now. Romans 10, 9, and 10 in your Bible is uh, you confess your Savior from sin and make him Lord uh, in your life. And then change lords, change being owned by Satan to being a son and a son or a daughter of the Most High God. And um, your citizenship changes from this world to heaven. And that's a much better deal. Um, so I love you guys. God bless you. Sorry this is a little long. Talk to you next time.